Hey everyone, Fox Row back again with part 7 of my Alpha playthrough. And as you can see, I'm in another ship. I really like this ship. It's a Comet. Where we go? Federation Navy Comet. And she looked cool. <laughs> and I've got this particular skin on. I bought it, yeah. I gave myself some money from one of my other characters, not a great deal. So we've got, where are we at the moment? We've got 25 million. I have earned some of that because I've been doing some level one missions with her. Um, and I love this, it's um, very good. And I've got my drone skills up. I've used up the million skill points or the million and something that we had. And what I want to do today is show you how to make bookmarks for safety if you're doing anything in low security. I'm not going to go to low security and do it because it's too risky. Um, you will get ganked at some stage if you go into low security. There's no doubt about that. Especially if you're new and you're inexperienced. <coughs> and you're not sure about the area because you're going to miss somebody coming in. Because they use core um, combat scanners to scan you up and they can jump right to you and kill you within minutes. <laughs> Especially the experienced ones. Right, what well, I put my skills into, <clears throat> as you can see I've got all these ships. I'm now at my own uh, co uh, corporation area in Rosal. I've uh, moved everything here and I already had these ships. If I look at um, my inventory, that's my current inventory, which I moved the stuff from um, the initial place, the uh, start area. But <clears throat> in my corporation hangar, and that's all the ships I can grab. That's my corporation hangar, where I've got all the ships that I can, any, any one of my characters can have access to. And I already had the Comet, and I already had the um, Executive uh, Corps. <laughs> can't say it. Wednesday. <laughs> The ship I like. I've already um, fitted them out now, um, but I'll show you that later. This is what I'm going to use to do level 2 missions, because I have got level 2 missions available to me, but I'm not doing them that, as you can see. Level 2 there, security mission. Uh, level 2 there, another one. And distribution level 1. Not access yet to these. <clears throat> as an alpha character, you can't do level 4 missions. You can do level 3, but you can't do level 4, you can't have access to it <clears throat> as an alpha account, you can only access to the level 3. There is no level 1 missions here, there's um, one in another station, Forge Jumps Away, which I'm using this ship to, uh, to do with, and it's very good. <clears throat> anyway, what this um, video is about today is about doing bookmarks, and also showing you what skills I've used that million skill points on. Now if we go to skills, I've already lined up in chronological order by date and how long it takes, all those skills there. Um, as you can see they all follow each other, so I've got 18 minutes to do medium drones to level 3, 2 hours to do negotiation which you need to <clears throat> try and get into, that's in social, skill agent negotiation. Additional pay per skill level for agent missions. So the higher you can get that, the better pay you get from the agents. Um, and as you can see, they're all, they follow on with the time it takes to train them. <clears throat> so again, like I said before, as an alpha, the training time is double. You see, if you go to Amiga, you're getting two times training speed. Um, that's down to you if you want to. I mean, they have given an offer. As a new one, you'll get um, offers. Where are we? New offer, look. <clears throat> it's only 14 quid. What's that in dollars? I've no idea. <laughs> uh, if you pay 14 quid, you get one month Amiga. I mean, you can do that if you want. <clears throat> and you get the benefit out of it. Um, that's less than probably a pint is worth now. I don't drink much, so I don't know what they are in the pubs now. No, I mean, if you're going out for something, so, I don't know, it could be worth it if you wanted to do that. But like I say, I'm playing this character as an alpha, so 
these are all the skills that I've um, put into. Now initially, Spaceship Command, I used um, the majority of my skill, million skill points in Spaceship Command because I wanted to be able to fly this and this obviously. And to be able to fly that, the requirements, let's show the info, go to requirements, you needed these skills, you needed Galenti Cruiser 2, Galenti um, Destroyer Level 3 and Galenti Frigate Level 3. Spaceship Command 1, which we, we had anyway, um, and Spaceship Command 2. So you needed, you needed those skills to even be able to get into it. So that's what I did. I put all my skills in those first. So you've got the Galenti Frigate now, I've got it to Level 4. You can't get it as an Alpha character to Level 5. Um, Galenti Hauler, well we already had that. Um, mining figure, I can get that up a bit more if I want. But <clears throat> I wouldn't waste any more skill points on that. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't put anything more in. I've done that just by doing it on the normal time thing. Um, but I used the Galenti Battle Cruiser, I got to, to level three. Got the Galenti Cruiser to level four. And the Galenti <clears throat> Destroyer to level 3. Um, Spaceship Command, I got that to level 4. And the Frigate to level 4. So I used all the skill points that I had to do that first. Whatever was left over, I did have some, I put in the drones. So I got them up. Then in gunnery. So this is the order in which I did it. I didn't do it missile, so I haven't put any in missile. It's all in gunnery, medium hybrid turret, um, rapid firing sharpshooter. <clears throat> I got them all to level three before going any higher with them. So small hybrid current, turret I did to level three. Um, I actually didn't spend any of the skill points that I got to allocate until I'd finished all the career missions because that gives you time to actually train some normal time ways without spending any skill points so that's what I did um, and the other thing I did was navigation put some in navigation so that we can put um, the afterburners and that on so I got them up as much as possible and then rigging jury rigging I got that up to level three because you needed that to level three to be able to do uh, armor rigging and hybrid weapon rigging <clears throat> um, what else did I put in? Um, a bit in social, negotiation, connections, and social itself. You need to get to social three before you can do any of these. So I got that up first. So that's what I used all my skill points in. I didn't use any in trade, just left that as it was. Targeting, did I do some targeting? Yeah, I did, I think I, yeah, I put some in targeting management. So. That used up all my million and something skill points that we got for free. <clears throat> so, bookmarks. There's a um, particular way that you do bookmarks so that you um, can exit stations and enter stations. Let's exit the station and I'll show you what I mean. And this is what you need to do if you're going to be playing in low security or no security. Um, not so important in high security to be honest. Yeah, we've now got access to four, four drones I can use, which is cool. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, let's stop the ship. If you look at, if I zoom out and look at the station, you see that ring going around the station? So within that ring is zero. Outside that ring, you'd have to, <clears throat> if you walk to the station and you got to here, where we are now, <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to dock straight away. You'd have to approach the station like we would have to, look. So let's approach the station. We wouldn't be able to dock straight away. If I go dock, Docking permission requested. you won't hear the second message until we get past that ring. <clears throat> Watch. Docking request accepted. See, as we get onto that ring, we, we can dock. You don't want that in a low security. You, you want to be able to more or less straight away. So what you do, you get to the station, so you're in your station in uh, low security or no, which is here, 
you exit, the minute you exit, the minute you're able to, because you've got four seconds, stop the ship. Straight away. As soon as you come like there, you can see us. You stop the ship, which I've done. So that should stop us within that circle where we we're stopping now. What I always do before making the bookmark is to approach the station again. Just approach it. Get as close as you can. Now approach the station. What am I doing? It's not going the right way. Come on, approach. I want to go that one. I need to turn him round. There we go. Go back to the station. And see, we need, we need to go over that, that border. Why is he not going? Come on. Oh, let's... This is my home station. You get a little blue icon on there, so that's my home station. <clears throat> oh, now we're going towards it. Cool. And then stop before you go in. I see, once he's stopped, double check that you're well within the uh, circle where we are. Okay. Then press Control plus B. And that now marks that spot. So we change that to station entry. Now you see I've done it before. Station entry, submit for never expires. You leave it, you leave that ticked. That's always available. Submit. There we go. Now we've got that mark. See so it's come up. Station entry mark. So that's our bookmark to enter the station. So what we need to do now, go back in the station. So dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request. We now want an exit. <clears throat> now to do the exit, you need to come out and leave it going in a straight line from the station. So if we undock. Do not now change any direction on the ship. Make the ship go in a straight line. Hit your afterburner. And don't deviate from this position. You need to be about 150 to 200 kilometers away from the station. So just let it run now. Oh, let's get sea off. So we're 15, it's not going to take us long. 17 kilometers. Oh, why has that gone? Disable light background, there we go. So we've got to wait until we can read 150 to 200. So do not deviate from this position. Just let it go in a straight line away from the station. And then what you do when you exit the station, you have it all ready. So you jump to 150 kilometers away from the station. So if anybody is sitting outside the station waiting to target you, <clears throat> they will lock, start locking you when you come out, but you'll come out more or less instantly. So you'll be 150 kilometers away before they get a full lock on you. So this is a way to escape any waiting <coughs> twits outside the station, trying to lock you and kill you. Because that will happen, guys, in low security, and now. <clears throat> the only safe way is in no security. If you belong to a corporation which owns that area, then you've got to back up. <clears throat> 100 kilometers, so keep going. And we're traveling at 1,110 kilometers. Milli, uh, <clears throat> meters per second, which is cool. 115. You got got to be a, a minimum of <clears throat> 150 kilometers from the station. So this is what we're going to do here. Oh, they're building next door again. Oh, I hope that's not going to come through on the recording. That's 140. Get ready to stop the ship. Okay, 150. Stop the ship. Press control and B. 
and now station exit. And hit submit. That's it. Got the two points. Now we can right click in space, your locations, station entry, and hit walk to. It won't dock you straight away. What you have to do, it will get you to within zero. So you hover over the station. Once you stop warping, warp drive active, stop. Dock. Docking permission requested. Docking That's it. Accepted. They can lock you now, but they can't stop you docking. There you go. So you get into the station. Now when you leave, <coughs> oh, press L before you leave the station. Press L. You see, you can see your locations that you've um, bookmarked. So you exit, undock, hover over. Station exit, keep it, keep your mouse there. When it becomes available, once you come out, hit it, walk to. And it's more or less okay. immediate, okay. there you go. And we are now away from the station, 150 kilometers. Now, to make a safe point, safe for argument's sake from here, um, let's go towards the sun. Let's go, let's go, hit the sun. Warp to within zero. Okay. Once you start warping, hit control. B, submit. Now that hopefully will give us a spot somewhere in uh, space. We need to wait till we get there. Get to the sun. Then right click in space once warp drive is finished. And go to that spot we just marked. Walk to zero. Warp drive active. You had to submit to be able to mark the spot and see how far away everything is from where we stop. There we go, there's our spot. So we're 5.8 AU from uh, the sun, from the station. It shows right now. Um, let's see what the distance does it show us the distance? No, it's not showing us the distance. They're all away from it. Um, maybe if I. Where are we? I've got to find them. <laughs> ah, there they are. That'll show us the distance. Let's have a look. It's not bad. Um, station entry where 0.48 AU away. Station exit was 0.48. So this is our safe spot. So if we press L, go over the spot and then edit location and type safe spot. And hit submit. Okay, there's our three spots that we've got. We can now right click and go to locations, station entry, walk to zero. Warp drive active. And that's the bookmarking system guys. Um, always do that sort of thing when you first get to a low security or an old security station that you're going to regularly be using. So you've got somewhere safe. Now, once you stop warping, right click, dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Now, someone can lock you at this time period doing that, but one, they can't stop you docking. Even if they scramble you, they can't stop you docking. And so, even if you take a little bit of damage, they can't, I don't think, they can't kill you that quick. Um, so you're safe. And then again, when you undock, you can either go to your safe spots right away, or go, let's try, Get the L up. When you try to go to your safe spot, it won't be as quick as going straight out, I'll show you. So if you undock, hover over a safe spot, it will go, but it's going to turn, so it's going to be slightly longer. Walk to. Warp drive. See? 
But because it's quite agile, it's reasonably quick, so you can get away. But <coughs> some people can insta-lock you, so by doing that, you could get locked straight away <coughs> and can't walk off. So I wouldn't go to your safe spot straight from the station. Go to the station exit first, then go to your safe spot. So that's the bookmark inside. Now, when you're in low security or travelling towards no security and into the null, you need to have D-Scan open. A D-Scan is this one, not the orbit camera, your twit. <clears throat> You've got the scanner options. You've got moon probe and analysis, which I've never done. Pro scanner and directional scanner. Directional scanner you want open all the time. So you click on that. <clears throat> and normally it would click, if you've never done it before, it would open this one. And the <clears throat> actual scanner thing would be locked up to this corner. <clears throat> you just undock it and it will come down and you can put it down here. So you want it like this. And initially it will be something like 15, de uh, 15 degrees or something angle. You need to have it right at 360 degrees. You can change the amount of AU that it scans. Have that also at max. So you need that at 14.3. <clears throat> and pressing the V key. Skill see, training completed. Keep on training my skills. Cool. You scan as you scan. And when you're in uh, space, in the low security, you need to completely hitting the scan key all the time and make sure you're watching this area for anybody coming in and you need to check who is in local. That's why you have local like this, so you can see who's in local. <clears throat> and to put local in compact mode, where are we? Um, there's a way of putting it in compact mode. So where are we? Last four uh, member list. There you go. Put that in compact mode. Tick it. And then you can see all the people that are in local. So one, two, two three. Well, there's obviously seven. With me included. So that's me and that's there. So you've got six other people in local. But you need to check what they are. <clears throat> also on your ship you need the, um, what you call it, so you can, oh, fucking hell, <laughs> the, um, I can't think of the word for Christ's sake, it's un unbelievable, um, you need to be able to hide, so you need, where are we, on MN, on your ship, let's have a look, I don't, believe it, I can't think of the word for God's sake, that's what happens with age. Um, hybrid charges. Ship equipment. I can't think of the word. Cloaking is either. There you go, that's what you need. Cloaking device, you need a cloaking device on your ship, so you need to train into that. Um, wait a minute, would be quite a say to use. Can't say cloak alpha, yeah. Can't use it, obviously, prototype cloaking. Well, that's a bit strange, I thought you could. Um, requires Amiga clone state to use. That's a bit funny. Surely the cloaking device can be used by anybody. But well, obviously not look. I mean you can't use it anyway. So that makes it a bit um, yucky. Because then you can cloak up. But there is an option there is a, a module now that the player can use which will decloak any any um, cloaked ship in a system, it's system wide. But as long as you're not not AFK um, you'll be able to cloak up again. So it decloaks you, but then you can cloak back up again. They've introduced that so that um, you, people don't use it in AFK. 
which they have done in the past. Let's stock up. Drive active. So I couldn't think of the word cloaking device, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh dear, uh, you know, that's what I used to um, So that's basically it guys. Um, we'll have to, we can dock that way, we won't get to zero, will we dock? Docking permission requested, docking request yeah. accepted. If you hear that message as quick as that, you know you're going to dock straight away. Um, but I wouldn't do that in a low security. I'd use your bookmarks. Um, so that's basically it, guys. I'm not going to do anything else in this particular video. Um, so I hope you've learned something from that. And I thank you so much if you got this far. And I will catch you in my next one.